Today I'm going to show you how you use Swift Key 4 and Swift Key Flow and Swift Key Flow through space. To start, we'll just start with Swift Key 4. And Swift Key 4 is basically your normal predictive text keyboard. And you can change the colors and the height of the keys and everything. Uh, you can also have Swift Key read your emails, your tweets, your Facebook posts, and that will help it predict your text better based on how you normally write. Uh, so to start, if I want to text somebody what do you want to do today, I would type W, and then it's going to predict I want to type what. And then it's just going to keep on guessing my sentence, but today's not there. So I get T, and I can keep on selling up today until it shows up, or I can just keep on selling out today. Then for punctuation, just hold down and select what you need. For the period, you don't have to hold down. And then if you want to delete a word, you just swipe back. Or you can hold down the backspace key right here. And right now, I just want to apologize for the quality of this video. Just my webcam. I normally film with my phone, but I'm obviously using my phone right now. So basically that's just how you use Swift Key, it's your normal predictive text keyboard. And now we're going to enable Flow. So I'm going to open up Swift Key. Uh, this is going to be what you see when you open up Swift Key. And you can change your languages, your themes, you can see statistics like how much more accurately you're typing with Swift Key. Uh, but I'm going to enable Flow. So Flow is enabled. So now we'll do the same sentence, what do you want to do today? And all I need to do is start at the W and go what? And then lift up my finger, do, you. And then I can either hit the predictive text word up here. Or I can continue to swipe. And that's how I didn't get it. Alright, and there it is. Now, when you have flow enabled, you obviously lose the fact that you can't swipe back to delete something. And that's how you swift key flow. Uh, it's usually pretty accurate. Uh, almost never wrong. And the next thing that you can do with swift key flow is swift key flow through space. And that basically means that you don't have to lift the finger. Uh, you just swipe down to the space bar, and that's going to insert your space. And when you do flow, it has a live prediction. So if I'm doing the word tomorrow, I can do T O M O R O. And by the time I'm there, tomorrow already came up, so I can just stop there and lift up my finger. But let's do what do you want to do tomorrow again with flow through space. So what? Swipe down. Do. Swipe down. And there you go. I typed out, what do you want to do today? All without lifting a finger. And they call that Swift Key Flow Through Space. So I'll do one more example. Uh, I'll type out Swift Key Flow Through Space is amazing. And there you go, it got the full sentence perfectly. Didn't mess up whatsoever. So Swifty flow through, flow through space. You can save a lot of time during your text, your emails, searching Google at work, entering your username. Uh, if your username isn't a word, it's obviously not going to know it. But if you swipe it and then you see that's wrong, you want to go ahead and correct it normally. Because when flow is enabled, you can still type normally and use Swift Key normally if you want. Uh, so if flow gets something wrong, you're going to want to click on the word, backspace it, and then type in what you actually meant. And then the next time you use flow, it's going to get the word right. Uh, if it gets a word wrong through flow, you can also click at the end of the word, and it will give you other choices to hit. So if I meant to type spacers, 
There you go. It changed spaces, changed space through to spacers for me. And basically, that is how you use Swift Key flow through space. And the other cool things about Swift Key are you could change the languages. They have over 60 languages supported now. Personalization here it is. You could learn from Facebook, learn from Gmail, learn from Twitter. Learn from your texts. You change your theme. And here are all the different key styles that you can choose. I have mine set to light. Uh, you can have it show arrow keys. You have a split layout if you want. So if you type with your thumbs and you want a separation. Uh, advanced. You can do it every time you hit the space bar, it will insert a prediction. Uh, you can do if you're like a sloppy typer, an accurate typer, how tall the keys are. And then they have Swift Key Stats, which is really cool. So it gives you a heat map of where you're hitting your keys. A perfect circle means you're hitting them perfectly and you're a very accurate typer. Uh, here it is, it's updating my heat map. Alright, and this just shows how accurately I type uh, where my fingers tend to land. My fingers tend to land on the H-A-E-T. And that just shows you how you type if you care about that. It tells you how many typos you correct. Uh, how many meters you have flowed on your phone. That's pretty cool. How much more efficiently you type by using Swift P. How many words it's predicted. So overall, that's how you use Swift Key Flow, Swift Key 4, and Swift Key Flow through space. And I hope this helped you out. And if you have any questions about Swift Key, just leave a comment below and I'll happily answer it for you.